man, do I like this car. Hi, I'm Dennis Gage, and welcome to My Classic Car. Well, this week, we're in Pitt Meadows, British Columbia to visit John Foxley, AKA Johnny Hot Rod, and check out a few of his cool creations. I first ran into John, actually one of his cars, a few years ago. I figured I had to track this guy down. And when I did, I said, got any other cars? Turns out, he does, and they're just as cool. This is gonna be a blast. Hey John, how you doing, man? I'm awesome. How are you? It is great to see you. Uh, you know, I, I I met your car actually <laughs> a few years ago when we were shooting the Peach City Beach Cruise up right, here in Penticton, right, BC. Right, right. But I couldn't find you. I had to track you down because this thing was just too cool. Oh, thanks. The red rose here. This thing is just really, really nice. Three window, 32, but not. There's so much yeah. subtle differences about this car. What's going on here? It is a real 32 three window. Yeah. It did start out that way. It was born that way. But when I bought my other 32, I got some spare parts with it, which was a floor. Okay. And, but it had half a cowl attached to it and some quarters attached to it, no doors, no roof. So it was missing a lot, but it was the basis of another car. The parts to, to build to, into a correct 32 would have been really expensive. So I used model 40 or 33, 34 parts. So in that, I ended up morphing these two things together. Just like with that, which I think is a subtle touch, you've got so many subtle touches on this car. The lace paint on the frame rails. Yeah. I mean, that is so cool. I wanted to use it as a detail more than a main focal right, point. Yeah. Right. And this gold stripe that encases it all, but that's not actually gold, is it? No, it's tan. It's like a... It's tan? Quite, How it's, do you get away with tan? It's quite an <laughs> ugly color. Like I had one of my friends say, I would never pick that color, but it looks awesome on there. You got these big brakes. Are those uh, the Buick brakes, I'm assuming? Are they... The drums are a 59 Buick, and then it's got a 46 Ford backing plate style, yeah. 37 Ford spindles. So yeah, it's just, it's all the original old school bits and pieces well, in man. there, you know. I dig the Merc dog dish hubcaps too. Yeah, 46, 47 Merc. The other touch that I thought was kind of cool mm -hmm. was I was looking at your headers and I thought, man, is that, is that nickel? They're polished cast stainless. That's the color they turn? Yeah, when as, as they get hot, they just went sort of that, uh, that color. I just love that, yeah. you know, because again, it's kind of nickel and it picks up on the tan gone gold. Yeah, that you've got it. I, I mean, it works. It's all part of my plan. No. It's all part of my master no, plan. No, it wasn't. That was an that was a happy accident. That one. And chrome belt. Yeah, that you know, it just dresses it up. It kind of visually makes the engine look longer. It, it does. It does. And a little bit more vintage looking. So interesting block color too. At first I thought it was black, and I went, no, it's not. Weird. Yeah, it's like a, a flat black cherry, picking up the yeah. lace a little bit, but not being like too in your face. So I mean, that's a that's a serious chop you got going. What would that be roughly? Once again, I said I did not chop this car. So you created it. I built the roof to this height. So that's what so, it was. That's the because stock there height, was, right? Because there was no roof. It's a, it's a stock height for this car. Yeah, but it, it would translate to about a five and a half inch chop. So that's a lot. It's a lot. When you get something that's this low, you're going to have your seats down there big time. Yeah. Is that something you, uh, you made or is that an aftermarket? No, those are Rotten Leonard bomber seats. Lace on the dash carried through very nice. Yeah, yeah. the dash is actually a 34 dash. Then I drop it down and put the Auburn panel on so it's got more of a substantial look to it than you know the typical 34 yeah. dash. Yeah. But man, that steering wheel, what is that? That steering wheel is really interesting. I found that at a swap meet. It's a boat steering wheel. It's oh, all, really? It's very kind of art deco. It's got you know the hood and the three oval holes going down, and, and then it's a one-spoke thing, so the whole top's open. Repaired it all and then adapted it to the Limeworks column there. Jeez, man, it just looks, it just looks awesome. Yeah, thank you. So you're running big littles, right? Yep, which gives it a bit of a rake. Well, it sure does, but it almost yeah. looks more than what you get out of Big Littles. Yeah, it is. It's got a wedged chop on it, so it's actually wedged. The chop's wedged. Yeah. And then also, at the front, you can see the, uh, the frame rails are actually pie cut right in front of the firewall, uh -huh. which kind of gives it that aggressive kind of yeah. hot rod look. It is aggressive. My looking. wife says I exaggerate a lot. This, <laughs> this is part of it. And I've I guess. told you a million times not to exaggerate, right? And, and you build all your cars to drive, right? Yeah, yeah, they all got plates on them, ready to go. What do you say we take it out? I think that's a great can idea. Can I drive this baby? You sure can. Let's do this thing. Oh, let's do it. All right. 
Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Ooh. When I, when I first saw this car in the Beach City Beach Cruise yeah. show a few years ago, it's eye-catching, but the more you look at it, the more it keeps coming at you. It's basically a, a cartoon version of the car. It's chopped too much, it's too low, the tires are too big, the motor's sticking out too much, you know. There's just things about it that are exaggerated that make it cool, you yeah. know. The whole car, built start to finish including like the poster uh, hours and the guy that helped me with my paint and all that it was 1100 hours wow man to build the entire car from scratch Woo. this is a pretty well known car right i guess it, it was in uh it was in uh, street rotter magazine it's been i mean as well as any home built hot rod can be yeah, I dig this car. This thing's fun to drive, man. <laughs> Except for the rattle. <laughs> <laughs> rattle, 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 rattle. Yeah, and it's quiet. You know what? All my old, all the cars I used to build were just ridiculously noisy and Loud annoying. And rowdy. Yeah, and now every car I build is quiet. You can have a conversation. That's just getting older, I guess. <laughs> you know, it happens. So have you been like building cars your whole life? You always been a, a yeah, hot rod guy. Yeah, I just wanted to chop stuff up. I don't know. I just want to cut <laughs> stuff up. And, uh, Sliced and diced. Yeah, Even exactly. makes Julian fries. Exactly. Uh, I built bicycles and models and all that stuff. And my first vehicle was a 55 Chevy pickup and I, I chopped it and, you know, flamed it and did all that stuff on it. And my, my parents thought I was, didn't really understand why. <laughs> you know, it's harder to see out now, right? And, yeah, I know, yeah, that's yeah, the whole I, point. I, right. I, uh, I still don't but know. I, but if I it look makes so you, cool. If it makes you happy, that's fine. John, this thing's totally awesome. I love this baby. It's just this beautiful, you know, chop, coupe, but you know, it has a real different look. This paint job is out there. And a lot of people say they really like this car. They notice it because of the paint job. But they said it's really nice. I would never do that to my car, though, but I really like this one. You got a good eye for flow. Oh, thanks. <laughs> it was a little bit of work to make it flow right, but when I built this, I didn't have cash flow. <laughs> That's so, the one flow you didn't no, have? No, I didn't have that. So I was like, I'm always improvising with what I have. You've got mirrors. <laughs> it's all about safety. <laughs> I can see behind me better than I can see in front of me, frankly. Well, I'm short, so it, it, that helps. <laughs> She runs real cool too, that's nice. Oh yeah, it's, just, it's, it's such a sedate car, you know, like uh, it doesn't beat you up, other than right. the seats are a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> it doesn't have self-canceling turn signals though. No, it doesn't, <laughs> good point. But um, it was a really neat project. It was a really satisfying project. I've built other cars where you just, you know, you just kind of like, eh, there's two years of my life I'm not getting back, you know? <laughs> and it doesn't really look that good. But this one was a lot of fun. I mean, it was a lot of work. You know, and it's, this is a blast, but you know, that green 52 Custom is just calling out to me. What do you say <laughs> we go back and check that baby out? I love it, I love it. It hasn't gotten that much love lately, so it'd be great to take it out. Let's go give it some love. Nice. All right. That is a sweet 32. <laughs> but you know, when I got a hold of you and said, you know, got any other cars? And you sent me some pictures. It was this one, man. I was like, wow, I dig this. And I wasn't sure at first what it was, but it's a 52 Chev, right? Yeah, you like it because it looks a little bit like a Studebaker. You know, right? you know it does. <laughs> Here's the other thing, it's green. But okay, so the, there's that. The combination of the yeah. two. But this doesn't look like any 52 I've ever seen. You've done so much to this that is really different. Like the forward motion, in, in fact. I've always done hot rods and I've always been obsessed with the rake, like that California rake, which is yeah. really quite popular at the end of the 50s and the beginning of the 60s. And, and maybe it was my ignorance of, of customs <laughs> and, and all that. This is my first true custom. Well, here's another uh, custom touch that's kind of different. This massive camshaft grill. Well, that kind of is a rat rod thing. Yeah, really. And because is, when I, mean. I first started this thing, I was like, oh, I'm going to build a rat rod. Everyone's doing it. And it's just, yeah, it's the cool thing to do. Flat black, let's just do it. And then as I got into it, it turned into pretty. I mean, this paint job's killer. This looks like Gene Winfield. 
It is, yeah. And it is, it really is Gene It is Winfield. Gene Winfield, yeah. He painted this. He painted it, yeah, wow. when he was 82. And I told him kind of how I wanted it. And I wanted it to be sort of like the Jade Idol in a uh -huh. way. And then he said, well, and then you're trying to tell me how to paint it. And yeah, I don't really, really no, I, you tell me the general color. I don't know how it turns out. I paint it till I like it. And then leave me alone, uh, right? <laughs> exactly. And then the name, the Jade Rival, some people say it's kind of a cheesy name. Well, it probably is, but it is uh, a tribute. A, it's a tribute. a tribute or a contemporary or a rival of the Jade Idol. Yeah. And it sounds like the Jade Idol, but it it's, does. So, and, he, and I asked Gene about it, and he's like, love it. Put it on there. I'm there putting it, it on Dash. I'm writing it right now. <laughs> so it's done. So, so interior wise, this is really interesting too. So it's, that's like a 55 Dash? 55, yeah. And what are the buckets out of? <laughs> the buckets are, I don't know, I think a 96 or 95 Protégé Mazda. Ma Mazda we, say, Protégé. We, we say Mazda. It's a Mazda. It's a Mazda. <laughs> and the, the door skins are all Gene Winfield, yeah, all we, the time. Well, it's funny because <laughs> cool. my wife is a graphic designer, so she put this all together. Every picture in here is from his book, and it's all his personal life photos. So it's all about Gene Winfield. Did he dig it? He loved it, yeah. Thought it was great. Man, I love the whole thing, but for me, it's it's this rear quarter that I just find so stunning. Is this a stock deck lid? That is a stock deck lid. It is not changed in any way. And the taillights? 39 Lincoln, flipped upside down. Interesting bumper setup. That is the stock gravel pan that would fit under the edge of the bumper, mm. narrowed, which mm. had a really neat design on it. It does. So then 305, and yeah. th so that's what she's still running? it runs great. Engine yeah. looked good? Engine is, you know, it's a custom. Don't don't worry don't about the engine. You nothing to see here. Keep moving. <laughs> well, I'm I'm okay with that because she runs. I dig this car. I love the red rose. Can we take this baby out too? Absolutely. And can yeah. I please drive this one? I'm so glad you picked this car because uh, you know it hasn't had much love lately. So I'm gonna love I, I want to take it out. Let's ride. Let's do it. Okay, ready to go. Ready. Here we go. That's nice. Okay, so we're just gonna have to take it cool, and if we hear scraping, we're gonna have to go up. That's how you know you're too low. You're in control of the buttons. Ah, lower level. Sporting goods, ladies lingerie. Sounds really good for 305. <laughs> so I usually just tell people it's a small block Chevy, I don't say. Yeah, just leave it, leave it at that. What kind of motor? It's, yeah, it's a, a small, small block, block, man. See, that could be anything, right? Exactly. 305? Oh, really? Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> Oh. What did it come out of? The chassis, the floor pan, the motor, tranny, everything rear end is a 1978 Malibu station wagon. That is hilarious. A woody station wagon. Oh. Yeah. All right. Let's go cruising. Low and slow. This low, you just feel like you're sliding along, man. <laughs> you feel everything, don't you? <laughs> oh, yeah. You just don't realize how much suspension actually does for you. But you can't look as cool as we look right now with suspension. <laughs> no. No. I love the sound. Got to be glass Yeah, you know, it's, it does sound really good. But you know, when you're cruising, it's not too loud. This thing's fun to drive. And how long did it take you to build this one? Uh, this took me about two years of spare time, including uh, all the paintwork by Gene and me and all the bodywork and all the putting the whole thing together and my upholsterer's time and everything and it was 1100 hours. It Which was, is almost exactly the same time as the Rad Rose, right? Yeah, that's what it took me to do that car too, yeah. It's a little bit narrower than, than a stock 52 Chevy. And because I was going to lower it, I, I wanted to have something that's going to have a narrower track width so that when the car is aired out, I can fairgrounds cruise it and do all that with it all the way out, uh, yeah. aired out. So oh. I had I, I shortened the car to uh, match the wheelbase, and that also proportionately fixed a lot of things that were going on after it was sectioned. Well, now how about you know the dash is a 55, right? It's 55 yeah. Chevy. 55 but Chevy. But it looks a lot closer together. No, it's not. You really? No, it's stock. So I mean, it fits right into a 52. Well, I. I yeah, I, I can't give all my secrets away. No, <laughs> no. no the, it is a stock dash. The front part of it is the stock 52 Chevy dash. Yeah. And then I blended the 55 Chevy dash onto it. Oh, I see. And um, so that gave me, you know, the mounting point up to the windshield and all that. It drives 
beautifully. I mean, it, it rides, this thing rides like a, well, kind of like a 78 Malibu station wagon. It is actually a really good ride. And is it, uh, is it basically just the stock power steering that came with that 78? Because, I mean, the power steering is beautiful on it, it's too. It's 100% stock. I'm digging it. I'm totally digging it. I mean, I, I like the, the Rad Rose, but this, this car is me. I'm Dennis Gage. Happy motoring. <laughs>